What is good fam? Welcome back to another video. Damn, I need a tan. I'm really white. We're starting off the video with an unboxing of the new 350 V2s. These are the V2 statics. I've had these for about three or four days, but I haven't been very well, so they've been sat in a box, not been opening them up. Literally, I've just opened them up just there. Let's open these up. I don't want to say open up any more times, Riley. Let's see what these are about. See, I was arm and arm about these when I first saw them. And I, they were the easiest Yeezy to cop ever. Right, so these, I'm going to show you some better visuals than that. Uh, yeah, these are the statics. So they released two colours. They released the statics and they released a reflective one. Uh, these had about 40,000 drop on Adidas alone. The reflective ones had only about 5,000. So these were, like I said, an easy cop. They come out about, they come out at 7am on a Friday. I didn't wake up until work, until 8, went straight on Adidas, in and out within 10 minutes, so it's an easy cop. And in person, I kind of like it, it looks a little bit like the Zebras, to be fair. Uh, white and grey mesh, this is a clear slip through the middle. Rope laces, which is kind of cool, picked them up in a size 9 to add to the shoe collection. So I'll show you what they look like on foot, easy Adidas, easy cop. What are you saying? You like the Yeezys, babe? So, we swapped out the Vape Maxes for the Yeezys. I really am a fan of these 3M laces as well, by the way. But, one thing I don't like about the Yeezys, or these Yeezys specifically, is the uh, shelling. This tongue comes quite high, and I feel like for that to be like a slip-on shoe, and it should the, the tongue should be a little bit tighter. But maybe it's because I haven't worn them. Really nice colourway, they're going to go with everything. I think they're definitely going to add to the shoe collection, so let me know down below, would you cop or would you drop? Uh, let's film a little bit more, hopefully film a bit of a workout as well for you. Oh, and that's bad. Hello. Hello. Question. Fire or not so fire? Nice. You a fan? Yeah. This bit's a bit different. It's a clear. Yeah. That is. Go. What's your shoe game, shoe game saying? Standard 95s. Legend. That's right, people. Even on a Sunday, we are heading to Starbs. Well, we're not heading there. We're at Starbs. We're waiting for Al. We've got a meeting. We're going to plan the Wee Sup Fitness. So, a few weeks ago, me and Al went to meet Sean and talk about launching Wee Sup Fitness, which is his brand, Wee Sup, and collabing with us two uh, and doing a fitness uh, range. Basically, a fitness range basically we're launching fitness paddle boarding so uh, group sessions on the paddle boards personal training on the paddle boards uh yoga on the paddle boards loads of stuff like that so really really exciting start to 2019 so me and i've got to plan that how we're going to market it sean sent us over like his pitch and the way he wants to, it to run and it sounds pretty good so we're just going to go through stuff like that and then after that me out beth and emma we're going to go for lunch it should be a pretty decent day i'm going to try and take you with us so i hope you're having a good day So we start fitness, it's gonna be huge. I'm really, really excited for that. So, yeah, so hopefully next weekend, the next Friday, me and I are actually gonna go out on the board, get a little bit of experience, meet up with Sean and discuss the sort of our side of our proposals, so that should be good. Might be some uh, funny videos of us falling off. Oh, 100%. I think we'll probably be terrible at the moment. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you there. Also, we're just gonna go get some lunch and go on a little walk with the birds. Ow, oh, is Emma allowed on the Insta and uh, YouTube yet or not? I, I have to stop filming. Nah, you'll have to beep over that name that you just dropped. Yeah, and also <laughs> like, blur out her yeah. face throughout yeah. the whole video. So yeah, we're gonna do that in a bit. Today's goal, conquer the sand hill. I don't think this video is gonna do the sand hill justice because this is quite tall. Al's there, getting some rascal pictures. Yes, we've got to try and make it to the top, but this is kind of steep. Not good for the crepes, man. Are you going to try and get to the top or what? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! That's actually a decent distance. There is no way in hell me and you are racing, lad. Absolutely. Not happening. 
and we made it. That's a little bit of a booty burner, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My quads. the next day currently what are we on one minute to seven I was just finished his session I've just finished mine about 10 a.m. push workout we didn't train yesterday we only trained twice since the new year because I've been very well pre-workout is gonna go down let's go and smash this push workout okay then team we are jumping into a voiceover for this push workout first uh, AM workout in a very very long time but it felt good good to get in and get it done and like I said I haven't worked out in two to three days because i haven't been feeling very well so it's nice to go in and smash it out so one of my main goals for the rest of this bowl we've got two months left is to push my bench as hard as i can and then try and increase it so i'm trying to bench two times a week so the working sets for today were one working set of 90 kilos for six reps and then up to 95 for two more sets of six felt pretty comfortable my goal eventually for this uh, bench is to try and get over five reps on 100 kilos that's ultimately my massive goal i tried that last year we didn't get there I'm thinking we will this year. We then moved on to the Smith Machine overhead press. This is such a wicked movement and one that I learned from a Joey D video and I showed out a few weeks back and we've been doing it ever since. I've already been using this as my main compound movement for a little while now, but it's a very, very good movement. We then went on to this skull crusher movement, which is a barbell, so nice and heavy. So we did a heavy chest movement, heavy shoulder movement, and then a heavy tricep movement. And then after that, we went into supersets. So for our heavy movements, we stayed around the 8 to 10 rep range. And then once we went into our, to, our tricep, uh, to our superset movements, we stayed around 12 to 15. So first superset was a incline chest press like you're seeing now. And then we superseted that with cable flies, but we didn't manage to film that one. We then went for a shoulder superset, which was cable side raises. And as you see, we're holding the opposites so we can raise across uh, and it just lengthens the contraction. That was really, really good. And we did that into another press. And then finally, we did tricep push downs with rope push downs. And as you can see here, we've attached two ropes together to make the one long rope, making sure our elbows are really out and we're really squeezing those triceps. And that was a really, really good movement. If you take one away, take that away because I really, really enjoyed that one. Finally, we finished off with some leg raises just because I've been throwing in some abs uh, in my training and I need to stay accountable for that. So my goal for my bulk is to try and do a few more, try and do, train abs as much as I can. So if you're not seeing abs in these videos, make sure that you're commenting down below and telling me to hit them abs. Uh, after that, we just did tricep dips to failure and then a chest press to failure. And that was a full push workout. So if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button and enjoy the rest of the video. Let's round off this video with a food shop. Uh, we haven't done any food shops on the channel for a long time because I haven't really been tracking my calories. I stopped tracking my calories sort of mid-December, but we're back to track the calories. Two more left months left on the bowl. We start in our cut officially on the 3rd of March. So put that in your diary, peeps. It's gonna be huge. So let's do this uh, food haul. Protein, fats, and carbs, little break up. This is just like a weekly sort of top up from what my mum gets. So. Chicken, hex sausages, turkey steaks, and beef steaks. So there are four different types of protein sources. That's about six meals between the lots. So that's a decent setup for the week. We also get skia, which is ridiculously high in protein, low fat, medium carb. So I have that with three packs of frozen blueberries, just because great for the micros, and frozen blueberries are obviously way more affordable than raw, um, normal ones. In terms of veg, we just got a little bit. We just got baby spinach, two packs of uh, asparagus, and some long broccoli, just to top up. Basically, my Madre does normal food shopping, but this is the little added bits that I wanted to get. And then we also got a couple packs of bagels and some sweet potato, which is my main carb sources, along with oats and rice. So, little uh, food shop, I'm gonna put a bill up here. There's only about 25 quid, which is decent. And uh, yeah, I like food shopping. Food shopping is probably one of my guilty pleasures. I just stick my headphones in, take my time walking around the aisles, try and find the best deals. Uh, like Rob Lips said, it's like Pokemon hunting. You gotta go around, try and find the best macros. So uh, yeah, that's what I did. I hope you enjoyed that workout as well. That was the first workout I've had 
for two or three days since being ill, but it was good. This month, I want to bang out some more content. I actually just finished watching a Rob Lip video, and he said, why are you not like daily vlogging? Like Content creators should be vlogging all the time, but they just make excuses, which is what I've been doing. So let's vlog a bit more, team. If you are enjoying these videos, please smash the thumbs up. It means that I know you're enjoying them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll definitely see you for the next one.